Welcome to today's podcast for your listening ears. We're cleansing for the soul. And as I sit here on this beautiful day, beautiful rainy day, I just sit and look at the plants um, that I have. And I look at the growth of them sitting in the flower pot that they're in. And as I glance over and stare at these flowers, I see that they started to bloom more and more. With just the right water and just the right sunlight and caring for, they bloomed all on their own. And just like that, that's a message for me. Because we grow, and sometimes when we're in environments and you know we learn so many different things we absorb so much information we grow we don't stay stuck in that same mindset we may still be in the same place but we may may not be in that same mindset we grow so then when we look at something it, it it becomes clear and it looks a little different for for example you read a book and okay you visit the book and at the time you just you kind of absorb it in and you're like okay that makes sense I can relate and then all of a sudden you come back to that book maybe like a month later that book means something totally different you know why because you've grown you've grown you've you've experienced some things you've learned some things you didn't stay stuck you didn't stay stagnant and, and that mindset that you were in before. And I heard the most expensive thing is a closed mind. You should always have your mind open to learn something new. To gain new insight. Even about yourself. I think that's what's really important. To gain the insight to know who you are as a person. Not so much of what you've heard about yourself from others or from even yourself because we talk to ourselves you know we have those thoughts oh I'm not doing a good job you know me I'm like oh I'm not being a good mom and I feel like I can do more and I just feel like I'm not doing enough around the house and things like that when in in actuality you are already doing that like I I'm, I'm already doing those things but I never give myself credit for it You could pat your own self on the back. Why not? If you don't have a a cheerleader cheering for you, cheer for yourself. I cheer for myself. I pat myself on the back. You're doing an awesome job. You have to tell yourself that sometimes. Just look in the mirror and say, you're doing an awesome job. And then say your name behind it. You know, you got to put things into action. And not just have the words, but I mean, you can you can have the information of learning something new to grow your mind. But if you don't apply it, what's the point of of having it? <laughs> it's just you just having it. You just have the book. You're not really paying attention to what it's telling you, you know, to do. You want this help, you know. You you read this self help book or whatever it may be, but you're not applying any of it. So why are you reading a book? Is it for entertainment purposes? What is it for? So think about that. You know, when you do something, is it helping you grow? Or is it tearing you down? These these flower pots right here, it it's at some point these these plants are gonna outgrow these flower pots and I'm gonna have to move them into a bigger pot. You see what just happened there? You know, so like think about it like just relate those different like metaphors to your life a plant and a flower pot that's growing it's outgrowing its environment it has to move up to something better so when you ever feel like you stuck somewhere do some self-reflecting see why do you feel stuck Is it something you're internalizing that's holding you back? Is your mind playing tricks on you, as it say? My mind playing tricks on me. Because it does. It does. 
you know, we, we go back and forth with ourselves, debating about things. And if it's that much of a debate, maybe you should just walk away from it. And it'll come back to you when it's ready. Or you can come back to it. Or maybe it was never meant for you. You don't know. And this could be relative to anything. Business. You know, relationships. Just your life in general. You don't have to be stuck in one. It doesn't have to be stuck in one category. I'm just saying this. Just, you know, with change comes growth. Some people change for the better. Some people change for the worse. But no matter what. We all go through the changes of life. It's a part of the process. It's a part of the transformation. So with everything you do, always remember to keep growing, working on yourself. And if it's not building you up and it's tearing you down, know when to walk away from it. And as I always say, live your life on purpose. It's the only way to do it.